In this video, I will be teaching you how to solve more complex quadratic equations. Over here, we have an equation that says that 4x to the fourth power minus 17x squared plus 4 is equal to 0. And at this point, you're probably wondering, how on earth are we going to solve this? We've never solved any equations to the power of 4. And you said that this video is about quadratic equations, but this clearly isn't a quadratic equation. So in order to solve this, what we need to do is we need to make this equation or this expression easy for us to understand. Now, how would we do that? How can we turn something to the power of 4 and something squared into a quadratic equation where the highest power is 2? Well, a very easy way to do this is through using substitution. So we will be using substitu substitution. And we'll be doing this in order to create a quadratic equation. So what I mean by this is we're going to substitute some number or some variable from the equation in order to get ourselves a quadratic equation. And what could that possibly be? If we want to try and like remake this into the form of a quadratic equation, we could, we could possibly write it as 4 times x squared squared minus 17 times x squared plus 4 is equal to 0. So over here we have our variable x squared, which is to the power of 2 over here. We're, so this is the highest power. And it's to the power of 1 over here, and there is no x squared over here. So what we need to do is we need to substitute x squared with some other variable in order to make this a proper quadratic equation now. So we can take any variable, any letter that we want. So let's say that y is equal to x squared. So we simply substitute this. So we get 4 times y squared minus 17 times y plus 4 is equal to 0. And now all of a sudden this is in a format that we're much more familiar with and that we can easily understand or that we can easily solve by just factoring it. So now let's just solve this. 4 times 4 is 16. So we can split this into 16 and 1 to get 17. So 4y squared minus 16y minus 17y plus 4 is equal to 0. 4y times y minus 4 minus, this should be 1y, I'm sorry, minus 1 times y minus 4 is equal to 0. And from this we get that 4y minus 1 times y minus 4 is equal to 0. Therefore, y is either equal to 4 or y is equal to 1 over 4. So these are our solutions to our quadratic equation. Now, the last step is to plug this back into our equation. So if you remember earlier, we substituted y for x squared. So y is equal to x squared. Now we have two possible values for x squared. Therefore, x squared can either equal to 4 or x squared is equal to 1 over 4. And we can solve this easily. We know that 2 squared is equal to 4. So x can either equal to positive or negative 4. Over here, we know that 1 over 2 squared is equal to x squared. Therefore, x can be equal to positive or negative 1 over 2. So once again, we started out with an uh, equation to the power of 4. And what we did was we used substitution, where we used the substitution of y is equal to x squared in order to make this a quadratic equation that we were able to solve much more easily. And that's why this is called solving complex quadratic equations. So let's look at another example. Let's say that we have the equation x minus 4 root x minus 21 is equal to 0. Now this may seem even more intimidating than our last equation, but really what we need to do once again is use substitution in order to make this in a more familiar form or in the form of a quadratic equation. So what substitution could we possibly do in order to make this a quadratic equation? 
Well, we know that when you take the square root of x and you square it, then this gives you the value of x. So x is essentially the same thing as the square root of x squared. So we can take this as the square root of x squared minus 4 times the square root of x minus 21 is equal to 0. And this is already looking more and more like a quadratic equation. Now we can do the substitution. We can take y is equal to the square root of x. So this will become y. So y squared minus 4y minus 21 is equal to 0. And now once again, all we need to do is just factorize this and then solve our equation. So for 21, we can get 7 and 3. So y squared minus 3y or plus 3y minus 7y minus 21 is equal to 0. y times y plus 3 minus 7 times y plus 3 is equal to 0. y minus 7 times y plus 3 is equal to 0. And y is either equal to 7 or y is equal to negative 3. Now we can just plug this into our substitution and find our final answer for x. So we get that the square root of x is equal to negative 3 or the square root of x is equal to 7. And we know that square roots can never be negative, so this right here will not work out. So when the square root of x is equal to 7, then we can square both sides, and we get x is equal to 49, and this is our final answer. So what we did was we substituted y is equal to the under root of x in order to get ourselves a quadratic equation, which we could easily solve for. Now I'm going to go over one more example. Let's say that 8 times 4 to the power of x minus 33 times 2 to the power of x plus 4 is equal to 0. Now this equation may look even more intimidating than the last two because because now we're taking something to the power of x instead of having x being to the power of something else. So how on earth do we make this a quadratic equation? Well, something common that we see here, or that we could possibly take as a substitution, is 2 to the power of x. And what I mean by that is that we could take this as 8 times, or 4 to the power of x can be equal to 2 to the power of x whole squared. And that's using the power law. So we get that 8 times 2 to the power of x whole squared minus 33 times 2 to the power of x plus 4 is equal to 0. So this will be our substitution, or 2 to the power of x will be our substitution. Now we take 2 to the power of x is equal to y, and we get 8y squared minus 33y plus 4 is equal to 0. And from 8 and 4 we get 32. And then we can factorize this into 32 and 1. So 8y squared minus 32y minus y plus 4 is equal to 0. 8y times y minus 4 minus 1 times y minus 4 is equal to 0. 8y minus 1 times y minus 4 is equal to 0. And now we can solve for y. So y is either equal to 1 over 8 using this, or y is equal to 4. And now we want to plug back in our substitution, so we subbed in y is equal to 2 to the power of x. So 2 to the power of x is either equal to 1 over 8, or 2 to the power of x is equal to 4. So we know that 2 to the power of 3 is equal to 8, and 2 squared is equal to 4. So using this, we get that 2 to the power of negative 3 is equal to 1 over 8, or 
2 to the power of 2 is equal to 4. Therefore, x is equal to negative 3, or x is equal to 4. So what we did in these past few questions was we just use substitution in order to make our initial equation become a quadratic equation, which we then easily solved. And if you're still having trouble with this, I recommend just doing a lot of practice problems because the only real, it, the only real struggle over here is trying to find the correct substitution. And the more and more you do that, the more comfortable you'll be with successfully finding the right substitution.